New question to the member from Halliburton, Cortha Lakes Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. Bill 175 will be reported back to the House today after only a few short hours of debate at committee and despite serious concerns expressed by stakeholders, especially our police associations. But this government is hell-bent on ramming this bill through, forcing a time allocation motion that cut off the debate at opposition amendments in committee and gave us only an hour to debate it at third reading. Wow. Wow. Absolutely this shameful. is yet another example of this government's lack of respect for the democratic process and the yep. members of this House. But what's even worse is the government's attack on our hard-working police officers and civilian staff. Absolutely. Why has this government chosen to completely ignore the very serious concerns expressed by our police associations with Bill 175? Here, here. Minister. Well, I thank the member for her questions because, you know, uh, actually, it allows me to talk about the Safer Ontario Act that represents, Mr. Speaker, the largest transformation to Ontario's policing and community safety in more than 25 years. Yeah. And if this bill is passed, Mr. Speaker, it will create a stronger, a safer communities where people get the services they need when and where they need them most. This is not a last-minute project. Actually, Mr. Speaker, it's a five Five years in the making. We have consulted across the province through our strategy for safer Ontario, across our province. Answer. And Mr. Speaker, we've been working very closely, actually, with our community partners, listening to their Thank ideas you. and concern in order. Thank you. I stand, you sit. And the reason why you're not seeing me stand is you're not addressing the chair, which is what you're supposed to do. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, back to the minister. The fact is, even the government, your government tabled around 250 Again. amendments to its own bill at committee yesterday. Again. Again. Guess what? Almost none of them address the substantive concerns expressed by our police associations. Rob Jamieson, the president of the Ontario Provincial Police Association, couldn't have been clearer about what he thought of the government's legislation when he tweeted, quote, another anti-law enforcement amendment. It's hard to believe how much this government despises our profession. Despises, Mr. Speaker. That's a pretty strong word. So my question to the minister is, why won't this government just admit what Bill 175 really is, a symbol of their distrust and disrespect for Ontario's police officers? You see it, please? Never too late to get a warning. Minister. So, Mr. Speaker, you know, I think what it demonstrates to the House and to all our stakeholders that we have engaged in the past years is that we are listening. And that's why, as we have listened throughout the community process, we knew that the introduction of this bill, and I've always been very clear, was never the finish line. All right. Member from Prince Edward Hastings is warned. Minister. You know, people spoke passionately during those, those conversations. And as I said, this is not the finish line. This is the beginning of our journey in creating a. The member from Kitchener Conestoga is warned. If I hear another comment, I might go to naming. Carry on. So, so, Mr. Speaker, this is the beginning, the beginning of our modernization to the first time where you will have a, yes, a community safety well-being plan, where the First Nation policing will have access to opt-in on our First Nation on Thank our you. Police Services Act. Good question. 